Hi Viles, today we're doing something a little different and gonna have a go at making some games. I have a degree in games development, so uh, let's put those expensive skills to use. Played this once before about five years ago when I was studying games development instead of doing my actual uni work, so I don't really remember much of anything except it was a fun little game. Okay, we have been transported back in time. That's good. We all know the top selling games from yesteryear and we can use them to cheat the system. 35 years? We only get 35 years? I only have about 35 good years ahead of me. So let's get going. Before you start your adventure, you have to give your company a name. Ooh! Well, let's go right to the top and rip off Rockstar. Rookie Star Games. And a uh, player name. Oh, wait, actually, I, I don't want the company to be associated with me, just in case things go wrong. So let's just be that guy. Well, I was blonde once in my life, so that'll do. And a wee sweater vest. Okay, so I uh, know what. I guess the only option right now in this game about game dev is to develop a game. So let's do that. Let's think back to one of the most successful games on the PC. Doom. Right, topic. Uh, I guess Doom was about sci-fi? Genre. Uh, it's definitely a bit of an action game, that Doom. Platform. Well, the game was released for PC and then everything up to a McDonald's kiosk. So let's do PC. The dev cost is lower too. I changed my mind. Let's do the G64. I believe that's the Commodore 64? Do any of you kids even know what that is? Graphics. I mean, Doom could work as a text-based game. I've definitely seen text versions of Doom. Is there anything Doom hasn't been ported for? I think people laugh at Skyrim for how many platforms it's been brought to, but Doom has literally been run inside of Doom. And I think those bubbles mean we have started development. Well, on stage one. Uh, well, gameplay back then wasn't all that great, but the engine really mattered. Story quests. Doom wasn't really for the quests. It was more, shoot that, get the keys, open the doors. So we'll have minimal story and quests. Actually, let's add some gameplay. Oh, those little noises are so satisfying. Development stage 2, listen, honey, development stages do not go that fast, but I guess that guy is cracking on. There's not much else for him to do in this little garage. Uh, no one speaks in Doom, but the level design is important in our text game. AI, we want the monsters to be somewhat intelligent, but not too clever. Okay. <laughs> He checks his little notepad. And there's a little text on that screen in the actual game. Oh, here we go. We're flying through development stages. Can we just turn off the sounds? <laughs> Doom has a banging soundtrack, so let's pump that up. World design. Uh, I'll leave it as it is. In graphics, in a text-based game, let's make them pretty good. We'll have a nice anti-aliasing on that font. I don't think they actually had anti-aliasing in the 80s. But then again, they never had Doom in the 80s, so we're ahead of the times here at Rookie Star Games. And we are finished. Oh, we still have bugs. Oh, the bugs go away. Yeah, 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 yeah. You squash those bugs. And we are actually finished. He leaned back in his wee chair when he was done. <laughs> Doom is ready. And we've gained some experience points. <laughs> that guy. And I guess we'll release that. Uh, nothing's happening. Oh, something happened. The first reviews for our newly released game came in. Here we go. Fun at stages. I've seen better. Well, it is just text to be fair. Even books have got pictures. Has its moments. Falls a bit short. Darn you all games. Rookie Star Games has just released their first game, Doom, 10 years prior to ID Software. First week of sales, 4,445 games. We made it in the charts at number 71. 71 is now 100, cause that's on the low end. Ooh, 16 new fans. Well, that's better than none. I take it. So I guess we should just get started on the next game. Research? Well, let's do some research. I hear horror games are all their age. Not sure about that in the 80s, but let's go ahead and research that. The monthly cost for eight grand for a single computer in mum's garage? Something isn't right here. 10,000 units have been sold. An important milestone in the history of Rookie Star Games. Okay, research is complete. Let's go ahead and make a horror game. What's a good horror game for back in the day? Let's just stick with Doom. But horror? Horror Doom. We don't want to be that company that only releases exclusively for one platform. So let's switch things up and slap this out in PC. And this time, let's bring in some graphics. Did we just invent game sprites? Engine high. Gameplay kind of important. And do we need story and quests in a horror game from the 80s? Let's keep it what it was. Yeah, you scratch that wee head of yours, because I don't know if this will actually work. Um, let's keep it as it is. Now, I have these little things here. I'm not sure if that's because I played the game once before, back in like 2015, but I don't think I did very well, so um, I, I don't know. Game is off the market. Oh, so we're not making any money. Hmm, that's not good. Audio. Well, it is a horror game, so let's make the audio horrible. G4. 
is it selling the PC? Just when I decide to go with the PC. Oh, we're finished. We'll just wait for that guy to get rid of these bugs. And the moment it hits zero, halt development and ship that out. Let's see how we fare. Ten. It's much better than six. And here's the reviews. Falls a bit short. Uninspired. <laughs> has its moments, but well, that's better, and it's fun at stages. Well, that's okay. What's this little ladder for? You can clearly reach that cupboard, and I can't imagine it being any use in the actual house, if there is one actually attached to this garage. Rumours Nintendo are going to release a home console. Nintendo is known for the widely successful arcade game, Dinky King. Well, before those rumours come to fruition, let's go ahead and rip off Dinky King. Dinky King is a business game, right? About managing barrels shipped out to an Italian plumber? Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's make a simulation and we'll listen to the credits and go back to the G64. The gameplay needs to be tight, the engine, not so much. And the story? Uh, I don't know. I think the story is actually quite important how Dinky turns his barrel throwing into a business simulation. And let's have Dinky learn how to speak to tell the story of his barrel throwing empire. And the barrels themselves will need a bit of intelligence. And those barrels need some good sound. Pop that up. Done. Just in time as Horror Doom has come off the market. 13? That's 3 more than last time. And we released it just in time as Nintendo has announced that the TES will be out early next year. So they can't sue us. And here come the reviews. Let's hope they don't compare it to the arcade version. Shows potential. Enjoyable. Could have been better. Nice experience. Oh, old games was actually nice to us this time. The reviews are much better than last time, so that's a plus. Uh, do you just sit here all the time, even when there's no projects? Don't you need a wee drink? Or some sleep? Maybe they sleep in the DeLorean. Contract work? Hi there. I just finished Dinky King, and I'm impressed by your talent. <laughs> um, I don't think you actually played my version of Dinky King. I'm in the contracting business, and we could use skills like yours. If you're ever short on cash, just let me know. Oh, Jason, this sounds like a scam. So maybe we should try that scam. What have we got here? Hmm, debug. We managed to release our last three games without any bugs, so um, maybe? Game backdrops? Well, we are known for our good graphics with tech, so let's go ahead and do that. It does pay the best as well. And apparently we're on our way. Um, time is moving really fast. Contract failed. Okay, well, I guess contract work is not suited for that guy. Oh no, it's Jason coming to shout at us. I see the contract was not completed in time. Don't worry too much though, I don't hold grudges. Well, thanks, Jason. If you want to try again, let me know. I usually have contracts every six months. Six months? You only get 35 years. That's, um, um, that's maths. That's like half of 35. Okay, before the TDS comes out, let's churn out a quick game. Mario Bros. Can't sue us if you haven't made it yet. And that game was definitely based on... The papyrus. Engine? Minus question mark. I guess that means less engine? Less gameplay, more story? Uh, Mario doesn't speak in the first game, so... You know what? Let's just concentrate on level design. <gasps> the TS came out, where we got in there just in time before Mario Bros comes out. We have Mario Bros. Definitely some good world design for the pirate Mario Bros adventure. Graphics? Yes. Sound? Yeah? Finished. And the bugs are squashed. Blah. Almost clicked that when a cheeky bug was found. Pretty right, quick. 13. That's the same as Dinky King. Ricky Star Games is doing not too bad. That guy must be proud. Do you ever empty that bin? And the reviews have come in. Let's see who hates us. They're focused on story and quests served this game very well. Perfect! Um, I know this doesn't matter, but this DeLorean is the way of those screwdrivers. I don't know if that's a problem for you or not. Well, it's not like you get up off that seat, so never mind. Okay, let's carry on. Now we have the brand new TES. Let's make a game for that. 80k! Yes. And let's do that bird hunt game. The one with the dog. And, um, bird hunt is a farming game, yeah? And we'll make it such the strategy as well. Let's go. Oh, there's no story in Duck Hunt. We need that dog to be clever, so we'll bring that in. And birds and dogs don't speak, so... Something about that makes sense to me. Finished. Just squash those bugs. 10? Wait, that's less than 13. We're meant to be on the way up, not down. And the first reviews for Bird Hunt with Dog came in. <laughs> Enjoyable. Could have been better. I see you all games. Do you by any chance go on to become IGN? What else is a good game on the old TES? Legend of Link. Um, it's more of a fantasy game, but I don't have that. Unless it's set in space. So we'll just add in space to the title. 
Legend of Link in space. The good old sci-fi adventure game. Oh, it's all about the quests. And it's not about the gameplay. Well, maybe a little more. He's using his wee notepad. This cracked wall is upsetting me. Someone needs to get the plaster out. And also, is that mold? That can't be good for your health. Right, Link doesn't speak, so we'll pull that right down. Yes. No. It's like a little step. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, and the TS is a massive success. That bodes well for our game. 15? Much better. Ship it. Gonna do some research quickly before the reviews come in. Let's unlock custom game engines. And the review for Link in Space just came in. Not bad. Except for you all games. Okay, we've researched their game engine. And let's research some more while we have Link floating about in space on sale. Mono sound. Oh, it's all about the sound design, isn't it? So let's do that. And done. Let's put together a custom engine. And we'll call it that guy's engine. You can save games. That's a massive step forward. Let's add that and the mono sound, 2D graphics, and linear storyline. This is going to cost half of the budget, so I hope it's worth it. Some platforms become popular with younger gamers, while others cater for more mature age groups. Ageist? Don't forget to create custom game engines. Ha, ah, we're one step ahead of you. That guy's engine is now complete. Well, let's use that engine to make a new game. Let's make another game for the TES. Uh, Metroid was pretty popular, but let's jump ahead and do Metroid Prime. That's definitely a sci-fi game. And I guess it has RPG elements? Mass Effect? Oh, great combo. Why, thank you. And we will use the new and improved version 2 graphics. Engine? Meh. Gameplay? Somewhat. Quests? Oh, an RPG needs quests. We'll add in a bit of a linear story in there. And we'll add the ability to save games. And upgrade the sound to mono. Finished. Oh, the Master V is come out. It's technically superior. Technically. 24, that's way better than 15. Okay, we can't keep making the same type of games. Let's research a new topic before the reviews come in. Life? Let's get way ahead of Maxis in EA. And the reviews are in. The best reviews yet. Someone needs to close this cover. It's actually upsetting me. And put that away. Okay, research is done. So let's go ahead and make The Sims. So PC game, life, simulation. Metroid Prime is a surprise and high. That's no surprise to me. Okay, The Sims. Uh, no need for quests, but the engine and game player needed. 50,000 units of Metroid Prime has been sold. Nice. Uh, Simlish doesn't require a lot of dialogue. Level design should be up there for the house buildings and stuff. And artificial intelligence needs to be pretty high because, um, you know, Sims in that. Venna has released the Master V. Well, that's a sign to make a game about a little blue hedgehog at some point. Finished. 18? Well, it's not as good as our last game, but let's see how the reviews fare. Not bad, and all games were nice again. So let's get another topic on the go. Superheroes? Let's bring the MCU to life, before it debuted somewhere in the 2000s. So we'll call it Marvel Cinematic Universe, but on C. The second C is for computers, and it'll be a superhero action game, and it looks like action is good on the Master V, so let's throw a lot of money at the development license. Yeah, the story of the MCU is a bit all over the place sometimes, so we'll, we'll keep that low. And we don't need to hear the superheroes speak, they just do the super things. Casual games? Oh, I'm gonna throw out a casual game at some point. We are done, but do you want to squeeze out any more points? There you go. Finished. 20? Well, that's better than The Sims. And the reviews are pretty good. Even IGN made it a good score. Does, does that mean it's crap? Let's research casual games. This game that we're playing is pretty casual, so um, let's make this game and this game. So this game is business and casual. And let's pop it on the TES. It says it's pro casual games. The game win? Well, I know a little game about Tetroids that we need to make. B but wait, if the Gamelin slash Game Boy is out, which was 1989-ish, where's the Genesis slash Mega Drive? Pretty sure that came out a year before the Gamelin. Oh well, we'll correct that when we remake this game. And we are finished. Let's just squash those bugs, as I haven't actually encountered any bugs in this game. 11? Yuck. Uh, the reviews aren't much better. Apparently business and casual are a terrible combination. Well, just you wait until smartphones are created. So since the game one is out, let's make the famous Tetris. Um, would you say Tetris is a farming game? A casual farming game, yeah? Because that's the only options I've got. So we're reinventing Tetris as that. Dun <laughs> 19. Come on, Tetris! And the reviews are in. 
played it for days. Sounds like Tetris. Okay, let's research 3D graphics for the next engine we make. We are moving forward in the world of technology. And let's research fashion. Every gamer loves a bit of Barbie fashion. Let's make it an action game. <laughs> Can you imagine Barbie as an action game? Nah, let's be safe and do simulation. Let's pop this on PC. We haven't done that for a while. Now, I don't know any catwalk where the models talk, so dialogue isn't needed. 21 for Barbie fashion. And the reviews are great. Beautiful. I told you gamers love Barbie fashion. Right, let's research open world for a new game engine as well. We've already got 3D graphics to add in too. And let's do a new topic of city. I want to beat Maxis at their own game. Again. Oh, and let's get the level editor. Right, we've got all the research done. So let's do the custom engine with 3D graphics, level editor, and an open world. Oh, I forgot to name it. Oh, well, I guess it's just game engine too. Done. So let's use that engine to create an ultimate killer app, SimCity. We're going to put it out on the TES as it was a hit on there. And we're going to make it 3D. 20 points. Not bad. Ooh, a proposition. And a hex message. Well, let's decrypt that. I don't think a proposition for a good time would come through as a hex message. So we're going to go ahead and decline that. And the reviews for SimCity are in. Oh, good reviews. But I guess when I said this game doesn't have any bugs, one must have slipped through because that looks buggy to me. Right, SimCity, make me money. I'm aiming to move out of this garage into our very own Rookie Star office. Any new topics? Game dev? Um, maybe we should have waited for that before we made this game. School? I hated when games were disguised as edutainment. Find Mario, Sonic Schoolhouse. How about no? Like, I get the whole process. Believe me, I studied it at uni. But we're not going to do that to the kids. We're not going to trick them. The Ven Oasis? You're a couple years late. You were meant to be released before the game went. Well, before that comes out, let's go ahead and make that game I mentioned before about a certain blue hedgehog. Sonic, but the 8-bit version. I know, I know, this version actually came after the 16-bit one, but we are rewriting history. So Sonic is a superhero, yeah? And we'll pop this out with the Master V. Mm, Sonic isn't ready for 3D, so we'll go back to 2D. And as we finish, the Ven Oasis is released. 18, not bad for an 8-bit game. And the reviews are great. Well, just wait till you get the 16-bit version. And let's research Wild West. Oh, new office. Rookie Star Games has made it into the big leagues. We are moving out of mum's garage and into our own office. Welcome to our new office, Rookie Star Games. I don't have to worry about the moldy walls or open cupboard anymore. Hire staff. Uh, this is a solo of that guy operation. And now that we've got our own office, let's do the true Rookie Stars game, Red Dead Redemption. And it's going to be on the brand new Oasis in 3D. Hey, what's that game on the board? I want to make that. 17. We'll just wait for the sequel eight years later. And before the reviews come in, let's quickly start the good Sonic. Sonic, the first one. Again, Sonic isn't ready for 3D. And the reviews for Red Dead are in. Could have been better. Shows potential. Well, like I said, just wait for the sequel in eight years. Hold the boat. We have a Super TES in the corner here, but it hasn't even been released yet. Well, maybe we got it as an early access gift from Ninvento for getting the new office. So one of my favorite things about Sonic was the debug level editor that you can access via cheat codes. So we'll pop that in. Oh, that guy's scratching his head. He isn't sure how to program the boss mechanics for Robotnik. And Sonic is ready. One point higher than the 8-bit version. Mm, doesn't seem fair to me. And here come the reviews for Sonic the first one. Pretty decent. Exactly what the blue boy deserves. And to be honest, life is complete. We have our very own office, and we've developed some of the top games from the last 30 years. We've introduced the world to Mario Bros, Tetris, The Sims, and most importantly, Sonic the first one. You know, I'd really like to come back to this game and venture into newer generations of games and technology and see what else we can rip off. I think we'll leave it there, pals. If you haven't already, be sure to click tap or slap that subscribe button to be notified on future videos. And if you enjoyed me putting my game development skills to the test, be sure to like this video and let me know your thoughts in the comments. It really helps the channel grow and be accepted by the great gods of the algorithm. Bye!